July 2011, the hunt for oil began in Turkana County. British oil and gas exploration firm Talo Oil set base at Lopi area in Turkana East to explore availability of petroleum products in the arid Kerio Valley Basin. Now, it raised hopes for Kenya to become an oil-producing country. The discovery of oil in 2012 was the beginning of that journey. But now, 10 years later, where are we? Our very own Victoria Rubadiri tells us on this week's National Reminder. This morning, I have been informed by the Minister for Energy that our country has made a major breakthrough in our oil exploration. That was the announcement in March 2012 that let the world know Kenya had struck oil. And these initial results are encouraging for future drilling activities. It's a very rare event for a, an exploration well in a new frontier like this to be a success. We are really pinching ourselves with this result. That find saw government earn billions of shillings in license fees after growing interest in oil exploration from multinationals peaked in the scramble for rights to search for the black gold. In November 2013, Tala Oil announced a fifth oil discovery in Kenya, raising the country's prospects of becoming an oil producer. A talk of completion of the Lamu Turkana oil pipeline began the following year in March 2014. The ambitious plan would cost about 255 billion shillings and would link the Lamu port, South Sudan, Ethiopia, a transport also known as Lapset Corridor. Well, the estimated completion date was set for November 2016. More oil discoveries in June and August 2014 would continue to raise Kenya's energy profile. However, in February 2015, Talo Oil cut its budget for exploration in Kenya and instead decided to focus on oil production in West Africa. It cited a challenging year for the industry and falling oil prices. But a few months later in July, Talo announced its intentions to produce oil for the first time in Kenya by 2020. Another development in the industry came in August 2016 when Tala Oil said that it would start exporting oil in June 2017, following President Uhuru Kenyatta's directive to expedite drilling. Well, that same month, a special cabinet meeting approved the plans to start production of 2,000 to 4,000 barrels of crude oil in Lokichar that would be transported by both rail and road to Mombasa for refining. By March 2017, Talo Oil put pen to paper and signed a production agreement with the government paving way for oil exploration. Kenya would ideally move between 2,000 and 4,000 barrels of oil per day using flatbed trucks and trains in the absence of a pipeline. The June 2017 deadline to begin oil export was delayed by the August general election that year, as well as the bill that stipulated how oil revenue would be shared. By February 2018, Kenya still hadn't exported oil, though Tala Oil announced plans to begin in 2021. Some movement in the plan came in June 2018, when the first oil barrels were flagged off to Mombasa. The oil would be stored in Mombasa as Kenya looked for export markets. Well, this was all part of the experimental program dubbed Early Oil Pilot Scheme. And the following year, in August, Kenya entered the league of an oil exporting country after the president flagged off the inaugural shipment of Kenya's crude oil. The country would export 200,000 barrels of crude. Kenya's first crude oil was bought by China, though the revenues, some $12 million, would be used to cover expenses that Tallow and the government incurred in market testing for the crude. In the fourth quarter of 2019, though, Kenya had to suspend the early oil pilot scheme due to severe damage to the roads in Turkana caused by floods. All well, this hampered transport of oil from Turkana to Mombasa and the subsequent shipment of the commodity. 
And just as the COVID-19 pandemic hit in March of 2020, Tallo Oil slapped the Ministry of Petroleum with a 204 billion shilling bill for compensation in its six-year works in the Turkana oil fields. All the government, however, rejected the bill, terming it excessive and unjustified. And a few months later, in May, Talo Oil served the government with a force majeure notice. Kenya again rejected Talo Oil's freeze of Turkana project. The halt on operations was later reversed, seeing Talo resume work. Well, some progress came last December when Tallo Oil and its partners presented their long-awaited revised development plan for oil production in Kenya. If it gets the nod from the state and parliament, there will be the development of a pipeline and oil processing facility in the basin. That should take three years. Tallo has previously attributed production delays to several factors, including unfavorable global oil prices, approval delays for land and water rights, a tax dispute, and the COVID-19 pandemic. Nonetheless, 10 years after oil was discovered in Kenya, the country waits until it can finally actualize the dream of becoming a formidable player in commercial oil production. That's your reminder of the week, lest you forget.